Hey friends, today we are hanging out in Lancaster, Pennsylvania, and we are going to be dining at the Shady Maple Smorgasbord. This is the world's largest Amish buffet, and they have so many food options. I can't wait to show you all of it. So we're going to eat some food, explore the area, and have a beautiful Lancaster kind of day. Anywho, let's go do this. One of my favorite things to do in Lancaster is drive around the back roads looking for little small stands on the side of the road. Sometimes they sell pies or bottles of root beer or vegetables and it's really cool because that's where the good stuff is, fresh from the farm. It is wonderful to be back in Pennsylvania and also spending time with my mom and sister. This is one of my favorite things to do with them. My mom loves it down here. She loves going to the smorgasbord. And before we actually go there, I think we're gonna go drive around and I'll show you a little bit of uh, Lancaster, show you some of the uh, back roads. It's just beautiful driving through here. Look at this, farm after farm. Yeah, lots of cornfields. And I like how some of them tell you where like their like milk farms go to. Like I seen one that was for Wawa actually. And I thought that was interesting because it was a whole farm. As you're driving around, sometimes you might spot like a little table at the end of one of the driveways from the farms and they use an honor system there where if they're selling like pies or root beers, you take the pie and then they'll have a little box where you stick the money in and that's really, really awesome. I hope we could find some of those. If not, we'll find like the regular like farmer, like, you know, the fresh fruit and the vegetable stands and there's a lot of them on the road. We found a nice little stand on the side of the road and they sell everything here. They have milk, eggs, lettuce, kale, lemonade, root beer, strawberries, vegetables, a little bit of everything. So I'm probably gonna buy some stuff. I don't know what they got in the soil down here, but those are the biggest carrots I have ever seen in my life. Holy moly, look at this. That's insane. And then we've got some kale and we've got some onions, some sweet onions. I like this. Lots of celery. I, I, I just can't get over these carrots though. I highly suggest if you plan on coming down and exploring Lancaster to bring cash with you because a lot of these places, they don't accept uh, credit cards or Venmo or anything like that. Whenever you're driving around, always be on the lookout for the horse and buggies though. They're usually just going right down the road here. And you'll see a lot of these signs around the area. I think they're so cool looking. Here is one of the stands that use the honor system. They have fresh asparagus, they have grass plants here, and uh, you just take what you want and then put the money in here. There's nobody actually out here. It's just all farmland. It's kind of cool though, isn't it? I don't know if I want to get fresh asparagus, but maybe I'll get my mom one of these decorative flowers for $5. So you literally just put the money in and then you just take the flower. Oh, my mom likes blue. I'll take this one, or pink actually. That's the one. I got you a decorative flower, mom. Oh. Did you want pink or blue? I like pink. Pink? Aha, uh -huh, there you go. Yeah, a little decorative flower. You. This kind of reminds me of yard sailing because like we're driving around and whenever we see one of the stands on the side of the road, we just like creep by very slowly and we kind of check out everything and see if there's anything worth getting out of the car for. You know what I mean? Some stands, they just have plants, but we're looking for like strawberries and bakery items, some pies and some vegetables and some fruits, you know what I mean? Stuff like that or homemade root beer or m like fresh milk or raw milk. That's the stuff we're looking for but the other stuff we're like nah that's just a drive by and then we keep going along as we were driving around i think i found the coolest little farm stand here because you can buy fresh milk straight from the cow look at here's the cows right here they're right inside look at this this cow's looking at me that's so awesome oh the cow's making noise and then the farm stand is right over here Look at that. Come on in. We're open. That's so awesome. 
This is so cool. They've got peach milk up there, like peach milk yogurt smoothie. They've got eggs, they've got raw milk, they've got cheese curds here, and it's all on the honor system. You literally just take what you want, put the money in, and bada bing, bada boom. I definitely want to drink some fresh raw milk because I don't think I've ever had it before. But they also have hamburger patties, ground beef, and ice cream here. And they're actually doing a little deal. So if you uh, buy the ice cream, it's $5.50 a pint. But if you buy two, it's $5 a pint. Look at that. And then, uh, yeah, put money in the box on the left side of the refrigerator. And look at it in here. Look at that, fresh hamburger patties, fresh ground beef, and then uh, the ice cream down there. That's really, really cool. I just noticed that they have a little change bucket here too. So they actually have money in here to you know, uh, make change in case you don't have the exact amount. Like for instance, the milk, the half, the half gallon milk is $3.50. I only have a five, I'm not gonna take the change, but if you wanted to, you can take the change. So I'm just gonna put the five in there, push that down, there you go. And now we're gonna get a half gallon of milk, just like that. Look at the farm cats on the cow farm. This is awesome, look at those little cats. Oh, I don't know why I think that's so cool. Are you a friendly cat? Where are you going? Where'd this milk come, did it come from you? That was a little meet the parents reference there with the cat, but now I'm gonna drink some milk with the cows. Wow, that is delicious. I was like kind of hesitant at first, but it's actually very good. Well, this is kind of cool. The farm itself is a member owner of Lando Lakes. Lando Lakes, I think that's kind of awesome. And I love it here, I think it's so beautiful. All right, enough of the milk business. We have to start making our way over to Shady Maple. But I do want to say that milk was the sweetest milk I have ever had. Like it, it had a sweet taste to it and it was really, really good. I liked it a lot. But afterwards, maybe we'll go explore around a little bit more. I would love to maybe find an antique store or maybe some more uh, like roadside stands. I think that would be fun. And here it is, Shady Maple Smorgasbord. And in case you were wondering, it just means a buffet that offers a variety of hot and cold meats. But I feel like smorgasbord sounds fancier than buffet. I have been to Shady Maple before. Like I mentioned, my family loves to come down here. But the last time I made a video, it was the height of the pandemic and it was way different. Like everyone had to wear their mask. There was different uh, policies in place to you know, go up to the buffet. And now I'm excited to see it in its full glory and its full operational status. It's gonna be really amazing. I can't wait to check out all the food. This place is so popular, there's a line out the door and it's different prices each night because the menu changes. Tonight is uh, Wednesday and it's prime rib night. So they have uh, prime rib, they've got liver and onions, New York strip steak, shrimp, beef brisket, a lot of stuff. And it is $22, oh, $22.99 for adults. And another fun thing is uh, on your birthday, it's absolutely free. You just come in on your birthday and it's free. And it looks like they've been around for 38 wonderful years. Shady Maple also has a gigantic gift shop uh, downstairs and we'll explore that later on. My mom loves it down there. They also have a farm market, a furniture store. They have a whole bunch in this area. Right outside the restaurant, they actually have a spot for all the horse and buggies to park and it has water for them. So they can just pull up and park and go on into the restaurant or go shop at the farm, uh, farm market. I still get very excited anytime I see a horse in a buggy, anytime I come down here to visit. And I think it's awesome how they have a little parking spot for them right out front of the restaurant. And it's like I said, it's funny, I still get excited about it because I've grown up in Pennsylvania almost all my life and I still kind of get a little giddy. 
once you get inside you actually have to line up to pay to go into the buffet and it is a very popular restaurant so it's super crowded but the space is kind of very accommodating like it is massive in there like it's never full like they could just have a line out the door and just keep serving all night long and here is a look at the prices it is honestly one of the best values it's $21.99 and up depending on the night because they have different uh they have different menus so tonight is wednesday night it's prime rib night so it's $22.99 but if you come on saturday it's the grand menu and it's a little bit of everything for $26.99 they also have breakfast and lunch all of the all of the good times all right we got to the table and i'm going to give you a tour of the buffet and show you all of the food offerings and i asked like how many people can actually sit in here like what's their occupancy and it is 1200 on this side and then they have a catering hall that's another thousand so the whole building is like 2200 that is a lot of people so it's going to be very busy in here and it's like i said there's a line out the door but i'm going to do my best to show you all the food the buffet line is so big, it's hard to show you guys all of it in one shot. So I'm gonna kinda show you a little bit of it, like at a whole. You have your two carving stations right here, and then you have like your salad station here, and then it goes down one side all the way down. Look at that. And then it does the same thing, and this is all different sides. They have another side that goes all the way down this way. They're, it literally just goes on and on, both directions. I think it's so awesome, and it's all different food each way. They've got brisket over on this side. Look at that. You got the au jus here, and then they have a flat top where they cook up hamburgers, hot dogs, steaks, everything. Look at that. Hi. <laughs> oh, yeah, I love it here. I'm always about it. <laughs> I love all of the food offerings, but my favorite thing is the dessert station. Then I'll show you guys that after we have dinner, but the desserts are so amazing. Like, honestly, I would come here just for the desserts alone. It's worth $22 just in desserts. They have a great selection of different items like baked haddock, they've got fried shrimp, they've got liver and onions, they've got rotisserie chicken, they've got ham balls, ham balls, fried chicken, look at that, it looks so good. The ham balls I've had before and they're definitely a unique, a very unique tasting thing. They have schnitzel nap, which is baked apples and dumplings, buttered noodles, corn, green beans. They've got beets. They've got asparagus. Oh, dry corn. Oh, yeah, some good dried corn. I'm going to be getting some of that. I think that's fish over there. And then, oh, yeah, baked limas right here. They have different menus each night. Like tonight is prime rib night, like I said. Uh, and then they have like a fish night and stuff like that. But they always have like core menu items that are always gonna be here. This one station alone is everything to me. They've got wings, they've got mild, they've got barbecue, they got garlic. And take a look at this soup. We've got dumpling soup over there. And then this is like a chicken corn noodle. Look at this. Oh, I'm going all in on that soup. The salad bar is fully stocked with all of your veggies and also the hot bacon dressing. Look at that, hot bacon dressing. I don't think I've ever had that before. I have never heard of this hot bacon dressing. It looks good. It looks like a soup almost. And then on the other side of the salad bar, they have all the other dressings and then tons of potato salad, uh, egg salad. Look at that. It just goes on and on and on. Oh, I almost just ran into the little guard there. This is, oh, pepper, pepper cabbage and then cranberry salad. Look at that cranberry salad. It actually looks so fresh. What you getting there, mom? Some filling? Some <laughs> It says filling on the... Uh, oh, does it? Yeah, well, oh, it's stuffing. It's stuffing. <laughs> Gonna get some filling. They've got filling. They got croquettes. They got rice. They've got pot roast right here. Some ham and pulled pork. All of this stuff. I want to get me some filling. <laughs> it's not just the buffet islands either. Like, there are so many different stations that sometimes you can miss something. Like, I, honestly, there's things I didn't even know were here until my sister and mom pointed it out. 
Look at this, we've got a bread bar with hot cornbread in there. And then we've got some dinner rolls over here. Uh, a selection of cheeses. You got Swiss and sharp cheese in there. A little Munster and then some crackers and I think there's more over here oh yeah they have some butter and some more cheeses and then the prime rib carving stations are right over here oh look at that they're double doing it <laughs> double doing it oh and then also we've got uh, the gourmet raspberry bread raspberry bread and apple bread oh I'm all about that. Oh, and apple butter. They've got apple butter. On this side, we've got scalloped corn, broccoli, carrots, barbecue beans, mac and cheese. Oh, what are these over here? Baked yams with cinnamon? Oh, Lord. And it looks like they've got sweet potato mash over there and stewed tomatoes. There is so much, and I'm sure I'm missing some of it. All right, I've given you guys the tour. Now it's time to put together a plate. Or actually, I think I'm gonna start off with some soup. And then if I see anything else, I'll point it out to you and we'll talk about some of the things I love and if there's something I try that I never had before, uh, I'll let you know how it tastes. And sometimes it could be a little shocking. You know what I mean? It depends on what you're eating. Another thing I love about this restaurant is their like soft drink choices. They've got tons of juice and then they've got all of these old timey like uh, uh, sodas. They've got creamy red birch beer, white birch beer, sarsaparilla, a little black cherry and vanilla cream. I'm probably going to get myself a sarsaparilla. I didn't even know this existed. Look at, see Bonnie's showing me stuff. They got pizza over here and then they have a build your own burger bar. A build your own burger bar. A little tomato, a little onion, a little pickle. Oh, and they have carved turkey over here too, like roast turkey. See, I didn't see that either. I knew what I was going for as soon as I got in here. The soup. I'm double souped up. I've got the pot pie and the chicken corn noodle. And I love this soup. I honestly could just eat it. Just like come here and just eat this and the desserts. There's no way I could ever leave without actually eating any desserts here. But look at this corn chowder. Look at, look at all of that. Look at that. And then I don't even think I showed you the uh, chicken pot pie or the chicken dumplings, I think this is. It's either pot pie or dumplings. I think it might be pot pie. But look at all these noodles. Look at the size of them. Because this was on the other side. Good soup. What's your favorite thing to eat here, Mom? I don't know. There's just so much different items. I'm going to say the barbecue pulled pork. What about you, Bonnie? What's your favorite thing to eat here? Uh, I like the brisket. The brisket? Okay. What about you, Ariel? What's your favorite thing to eat here, Ariel? French fries? French fries. Yeah. <laughs> All right, enough of the soup business. I do have to say the uh, corn chicken noodle was phenomenal. And then the chicken dumpling was also very good. Uh, they have multiple soups up there. They have a chicken pot pie. They have a turkey soup. They have, I think they have a chowder up there too. I think they have a corn chowder up there. So, I mean, any place that has like six different types of soup is literally the perfect place for me. But now I'm gonna go up and make a little plate and try some of the other food. Oh, and there's the prime rib right there. How's that? Yep. Okay. Oh, perfect. Cool. Thank you. Cool. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Maybe I should have told them I need just a little bit. Just a little bit. But luckily I'm here with my family and I'm going to give them some of this prime rib because I can't eat this big hunk of meat. That is, I was like, That's I was like, Bonbon, bon, can I have a little bit? I didn't say that, I should have said it. He gave me like a plate-sized prime rib and it's all you can eat. Oh wow, a couple of things that I didn't notice. Up there I thought this was like a sweet potato mash, but it's actually a carrot souffle. And then the liver and onions has bacon on it. So it's liver bacon onions. And I, I've never had that before, so I'm gonna try both of them. New, uh, new experience. Oh, and I also got some of the dried corn. I can't remember if I ate it last time I was here. I can't remember if I liked it or not, so I figured might as well. I'm going to try the carrot souffle. I honestly thought this was sweet potato mash. And I love carrots. Bonnie tried it. She didn't like it. You liked it though, Mom, right? Yeah. So we'll see. Here we go. Carrot souffle. 
That's amazing. Why wouldn't Bonnie like that? I know. I thought it was good. It's so good. It honestly tastes like sweet potato mash. Just like not too sweet though. Yeah. So, yeah it's very good. Now I'm going to try the liver, bacon, and onions for the first time. And I'm kind of excited. Make sure I get a little bit of everything on there. Some of the onions, some of the, the liver and the bacon. Get it all. Little liver onion action right here. It's got a weird taste. It's got a weird texture. It does not taste bad, but it does have like a unique texture to it. I mean, overall, I didn't hate it. I really didn't hate it. I just don't think I would like want to get it again. You know, I mean, it, it was cool to try it at least. I'm sure the bacon helps a lot though, because I did taste the bacon actually on there, but it just had this weird texture. Kind of felt like it was like fizzing in my mouth. Like, it, yeah, it had like, yeah, I don't know. I can't, I, it's hard to explain. Another thing I tried here was the ham balls, and they are strange too. I mean, I, I think a lot of people do like them. They're popular around this area, and the dry corn was pretty decent as well. Um, overall, I liked a lot of the stuff. I tried some new stuff, the carrot souffle, and uh, the liver and onions, and uh, yeah, I enjoyed it. The prime rib was phenomenal. The prime rib was so good, and the au jus, oh, amazing. Now, I kind of just want to jump right to desserts. They have two dessert stations, one right here and then one on the other side. And we'll go see if there's anything different on the other side. But they have everything from cake slices to cookies to puddings to hot items over here. Look at this. Wow. Cherry cobbler. Cherry cobbler in the back. Apple dumplings right up front. Got an apple crisp here. You've got peach crisps back there. You've got some apple pie on the top glass over there. Of course, we've got some shoe fly pie. Look at that, some shoe fly pie. A nice little topping bar here, full of all of your, all of your needs. Oh, some chocolate cake. A lot of gluten-free items too. Look at gluten-free apple cake, gluten-free chocolate cake. That's a lot. On top of the pudding selection, they have all of these other cakes and pies. Cheesecake, oh, the green plates are sugar-free. And then they have another section up top, too. And we still haven't even looked at the other side. Oh, what kind of cake is that? That looks good. Oh, so many. A little custard there, it looks like. Oh, a whoopie pie. I might want to get some pudding. They've got dirt pudding right here. And then they've got uh, Fruity Pebbles pudding. You don't say Fruity Pebbles pudding and then they've got Eclair. Oh yeah. Well, I have browsed all of the desserts on this side. So I think I'm actually gonna make my way down to the other side. Look at this down here. Look at how long this bar section is. Right now is like the, the clearest I've seen it. So I'm able to show you guys. But look, like I said, you just it just goes on and on after station after station, all the way down. And the kitchen's all right back there. <laughs> it truly, I, I feel, I don't think I've ever been to a bigger buffet. Regardless if it's like, you know, uh, an Amish buffet or anything like that. We got some of the desserts to share and I've got the Fruity Pebble Pudding. I've got the Boston Eclair. I got a white chocolate macadamia nut coconut cake. And this looks like some baklava. Mm, some good baklava. I don't know what kind it is. Yeah, baklava. Baklava? Baklava? Bonnie? What's baklava? Bonnie baklava? Baktabak? Baktabak. Bantabak baklava Bonnie. There you go. Say it fast. I don't think I can. Bantabak baklava Bonnie. Bantabak baklava Bonnie. Oh, well, there you good. go. <laughs> I have never had Fruity Pebbles pudding before, but I have a feeling I'm going to like it a lot. So here we go. Oh, yeah. That's so good. Oh, yeah. And now the eclair. The eclair is better. It honestly tastes a little bit more or less like strawberry pudding, and then they just added fruity pebble like uh, like cereal inside of it. But the, that Boston eclair pudding was so good. Now we're gonna try the coconut coconut pie and baklava. I couldn't leave Shady Maple without getting some of the shoe fly pie. And I also wanted to point out that they have uh, fresh whipped cream here. And they have a machine that makes it fresh. Look at that. Uh oh. Blop. That's the way. Pie. Pie. 
Me oh my, I love pie. You ever see that movie, Michael? You know with John Travolta and the angel, they have the pie song in it? She says pie, pie, me oh my. I, you've definitely seen it before. You like, you love John Travolta. All right, well here's the shoe fly pie with some fresh whipped cream. All right, I am officially stuffed and now it's time to go visit the gift shop downstairs. This is massive in here and they have everything, even wooden roses. One thing I learned, handmade furniture is very expensive. I was super shocked when I saw the prices of some of these like chairs. These horses are really cool, but I'm sure they're very expensive. Oh yeah, these are $300 right here. I guess that's not too bad because look at, I mean, it's a rocking horse, but what about these tiny chairs over here? You see like these little chairs? These are $67 for a little chair. I mean, it's a little chair too. So it's very, like I said, I was shocked, very expensive. How much is this hat rack? I don't want a hat rack so I could put all my hats on it. This is almost $200 for that hat rack. What about this chair? You see, fancy chair, $116 for that chair. It's only one chair. And then you get a little table here, it's gonna cost you almost $1,000 for the set. I'm pretty positive though, that's gonna hold up for a very long time. You know what I mean? Like you're, you're spending the money on it and it's gonna, it's gonna be around for quite some time. I found this really awesome Amish made quilt store. Look at this, items handcrafted locally. All of this, you can actually get an Amish broom. <laughs> I don't know why, but I kind of want a uh, broom that uh, <laughs> was put together right here in uh, Shady Maple. I think that's kind of cool. So I might get one of those, but I wouldn't mind getting a nice fancy quilt either. They have some really nice patterns. So that's kind of fancy. It's a broom from Lancaster and it's $18.99. It's kind of expensive for a broom. It looks like the gift shop is actually closing up shop, so I guess we're gonna hit the road. But I loved my experience today. It is always amazing to come down here. But like I mentioned, it gets super busy here and the wait to actually get in there could be long, just so you guys know ahead of time. And uh, it gets very busy at the buffet areas too. Like everyone's grabbing the last bits of stuff. Like I was like, I was, I, was, I don't know how they were keeping up. Like honestly, I have no idea how they were keeping up. But uh, yeah, so good and uh, now we're gonna kind of make our way back home. It's like, a, I think it's about almost three hours for us. It's like three hours for us to drive from home to here in Pennsylvania. Maybe it's like two and a half. The cats run this town, look at this. Bunch of cats and horses and the horses aren't afraid of them. Look at them. Yeah, choppy day off. This one's coming right up to me. Hey there, little buddy. Oh, it's a friendly cat. Hi. <laughs> How are you? Give me food. Mom, we're not taking any cats home. Come on, you hear just me? One. It's okay, be careful. This is a parking lot. <laughs> we'll call him Spike. I don't even know why. The other one's climbing the tree. Look at it. <laughs> there was actually three of them. Cats everywhere. Okay, we're driving. Stay there. Don't come out here. Not even kidding, but there's another cat right here too. Look at him. There's cats everywhere. Horse buggies have headlights and taillights. That's very and good. And four ways. And four ways. It's a little bit dark out, but we did come upon a cold homemade root beer stand. Oh, they have fresh squeezed lemonade too. $2.25. Look at that. Or it's $6.25 for a half gallon. Oh no, it looks like it's all gone. Oh, they might have some root beer though. Lemonade's all sold out. Root beer is... Uh, a dollar seventy-five or five fifty a gallon, and also no sales on Sunday. I wonder if they got any left. Oh, they got tons. They got tons of root beer. I'm taking one of these bad boys. Look at that. Let me see if you can show you. I've had this before. This exact root beer, old-fashioned root beer, homemade. They use the honor system here, so we're gonna put the money in. But I'm not taking change. They actually have a little change thing, and then I got my root beer. I'm only gonna get one though. I was gonna get two, but uh, I don't think Bonnie wants any of it. So just mine. Cold homemade root beer. We're gonna have to test out this old fashioned root beer. Pop the top right there. Oh, you can actually see, look at that. 
that's impressive. It is ice cold as they uh, advertise. So here we go. Oh yeah, that is really good. Can really taste the root in it. The root in it. <laughs> Not too bad. You can put the top right back on, just like that. I'm glad that we got to. Get, I'm glad that we got to get some old-fashioned root beer. And I guess with that. Uh, we're done here for today. I mean, we have to drive home. It's super dark out right now. Might as well get home and, you know, just uh, get all settled in. But I'm excited uh, to make more videos around PA. Uh, maybe visit a couple of theme parks and do some stuff. Let me know if you're interested in seeing some of the stuff from my hometown. I was thinking about doing like a hometown foodie thing where I showed you like all the food I grew up eating and stuff like that. I thought that would be cool. So let me know in the comments if that's something you're interested in seeing. And yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye.